Welcome back to a new video on the Luftwaffe gravity knife. This time I want to present to you the more than 18 different variants that exist only of the two German World War II knife types. Even the slightly experienced collector may think that there are knives from three World War II manufacturers of which only two have produced the type two takedown version. This assumption would result in the existence of five different variants. In fact, almost four times as many exist, which makes collecting these knives so exciting. You may have a highly rare knife in your collection without even knowing it. Before we begin, I would like to mention that this info and many more facts and details can be found in my book, available in German and hopefully soon in English, from Wieland Verlag. All right, let's have a look at the existing knives. To make it easier for you, I came up with a five-step categorization indicating the scarcity of each and every variant. It starts with standard, then rare, then quite rare, then super rare, and finally extremely rare. We start with a company that is responsible for the initial design of the gravity knife around 1936, the Solinger Metallwarenfabrik SMF. Their type 1A was produced from 1937 till approximately 1941. These are the first gravity knives ever made for the Luftwaffe. The first model still had a straight lever and bears the Reichswehr inspector stamp on the spike. These knives are extremely rare. I have only seen one or two of them in 17 years. The second variant only bears the Reichswehr stamp on the spike. The lever is bent like with any other Luftwaffe gravity knife. These are super rare. I have seen between five to 10 knives so far. And then there is the standard version with a regular Luftwaffe septum stamp on the spike. Be aware of that with all of these three early SMF variants, the spike spring is attached to the metal box with two rivets. The type 1B was produced around 1941 till 1942. You will see only one rivet in the spike spring, which make these knives at least rare. As it may be slightly difficult to differentiate a standard type 1A from a rarer type 1B, check out the following video sequence showing you what to look for. So this is where you have to check for the rivets on the bottom spring. This is the bottom spring here on the back of the knife. This is the spring for the spike. This knife here has just one rivet here which means that it's one of the rarer ones. And the first ones that were produced and basically all the Weisberg knife, they have a rivet here and a rivet here. Around 1942, stainless steel became scarcer. Thus, the type one B1 knives consist of a combination of carbon and stainless steel parts. Knives which have carbon steel springs, levers and metal heads are super rare. If you come across a type one knife with a carbon steel blade devoid of the rostfrei lettering, then you have found maybe the rarest World War II gravity knife. Check out these pictures of these very special models. Around 1943, SMF introduced the takedown version to the forces, or as I name it, the type two B. The maker mark was eliminated. Instead, a Reichsbetriebs number now appears on the base of the spike, which basically is a code disguising the manufacturer. Any type two knife is at least rare. With these two B knives, two different acceptance stems are known, the regular one and the slightly bigger one. The type two B1 is a type two B knife which bears an S marking on the spike instead of the Luftwaffe acceptance stamp. These knives were probably inspected and stamped by the quality assurance representatives of the Army or SS. FNA Helbig in Steinbach near Bad Liebenstein was contracted several times for the production of Type 1A knives. Research shows that at least 21,000 knives were made in the small Thuringian village. Three variants of the Helbig Type 1A are known. The version with the Luftwaffe acceptance stamp on the blade is super rare. The one with a regular acceptance stamp of the inspector number five on the spike is quite rare, and the stamp of the inspector number eight is extremely rare. 
Let's have a look at the last company that made Luftwaffe gravity knives during World War II. Paul Weyersberg seems to have cooperated very closely with SMF in the early production years. The knives look very similar. The Type 1A Weyersberg knives can be differentiated between the standard version with the regular size acceptance stamp and the version with a small acceptance stamp which is unique to the Weyersberg Type 1A knives. Two Weyersberg Type 1A knives are known which show an interesting modification. A pin was added to one side of the metal head in order to prevent the blade from starting to wiggle after a while. I am sure that these knives are early 1940s trial versions. They are extremely rare. The metal head of these knives has a slightly different shape, probably in order to identify and return them easier after the end of the trials. Weisbach never changed the original design. Thus, no Type 1B knives exist. However, around 1942, also Weisberg started making knife parts from carbon steel, which were used in the running production. Knives which have carbon steel springs, levers, or metal heads are super rare, and the knives with a carbon steel blade devoid of the rostfrei lettering are extremely rare. Weisberg kept using Type 1 parts and materials for the first Type 2 knives resulting in the existence of the T1 and T2 model. The Type 2 T1 includes stainless steel parts and is extremely rare. The Type 2 T2 has a carbon steel blade with Weisberg logo and is quite rare. The 1943 Type 2A knives with the Weisberg RB number on the blade can be found more often and are rare. If you have any other knife in your collection, it is most probably a post-war version produced for the East or West German Defense Forces in the 1950s or 1960s. I plan to upload another video showing 10 more post-war variants soon.